never seen a wheel of mud. Bro, if you didn't see the season opener, go watch it, okay? Now pause this, you can go check it out. Season opener was insane. Here's what we have to look out from the season opener. First and foremost is unstoppable, limited Josh Allen, our new quarterback. Also, I got a lot of flack for the abilities I'm running. Apparently people really like unstoppable hot route master. I will cave to the comment section. Also, people really think I need gunslinger, like just general gunslinger. So I'm gonna use four AP on Josh Allen. Protected, Gunslinger, and Hot Route Master. So that's four AP on Josh Allen. In order to accommodate this, though, I do need to take abilities off of Jamar Chase. I don't think this really matters. I think Jamar Chase should be just fine on his own. This also leaves one AP open, since I'm obviously gonna run Vanguard on Gronk. And I'll be adding Gift Wrap to Josh Allen. Let me be very clear about something. The fact that an ability is required to catch wide open passes is the stupidest classic EA moment that I can even talk about. Imagine if you needed an ability to make wide open layups in 2k. I, do you? I said that like I know. Maybe you do. I guess I don't know. But that's 5 AP on Josh Allen. The good news is once my offensive line is better, there's no need for protected. Comment section warriors, couch coaches, micromanagers galore. I don't know if you noticed, but my offensive line is 68 overall. And since all of you use your mommy's credit card to build your teams, you don't need protected. Okay? So quit telling me to take it off. I need it. Now we also completed our challenge, but wow, I'm, I'm, I'm pissed. Why am I pissed off? I need to chill out. Give me a second to make a breather. Hold up. Dude, the comment section's been getting to me. I think I'm turning soft. I also completed my challenge wheel, which let me open a pack at the end of last episode. I opened a Legends pack. I got 82 Calvin Johnson. I got 78 Fred Taylor. Throwback to season one. And I also got Paul Kraus. Kraus has 56 man coverage. So yeah, he's not, uh, he's not the best. Probably not the guy we want in, but I mean, what choice do we really have? I'm not putting in Cam Brown. I've watched Cam Brown get torched on every form of coverage. Bruce Smith might have literally been the MVP of last episode. I had an option to get any 88 overall player in the game, and I chose Bruce Smith, which I think a lot of people would have thought was a weird pick until he came up big time. Most feared wave three has dropped as of today recording this. Nick Bosa still has nothing, and quite frankly, he hasn't played particularly well in the league. The fact that I was between Miles Garrett and Nick Bosa, and Miles Garrett already has a 90, that does make me a little sad, but I will say the reason I did not choose Miles Garrett is because I already had an AFC North player, which is Jamar Chase. And the funny thing is, I end up having a Brown anyway, which is Anthony Walker Jr. We also have Jesse Bates at free safety. He was so good last game too. And then of course, our unstoppable prestige, Derwin James. So we have both of the limited unstoppable players on this team. I'm doing a lot of yapping. I'm going D1 and yapping. Coach Brown better recruit me, baby. Let's get our first wheel spin. Let's build this squad. Hey, the wheel spin is one franchise player. I don't know if you guys keep up with my franchise on MMG Live. We did a fantasy draft and I could choose one player from that team. All right, so here is my franchise lineup. Got Bijan at running back. The only thing, I don't think Bijan has any good cards in ultimate team. Otherwise I go with him. Yeah, he has an 84. I do have Devonta Smith. Devonta Smith has that Slim Reaper AKA, which I think is a, what overall is that? It's an 88 overall wide receiver. Here's my defense. I have Roquan Smith. Jonathan Allen, Will Anderson, Emmanuel Forbes, Devin Witherspoon. I would like a corner, but dude, I don't think Witherspoon or Emmanuel Forbes have anything. Devin Witherspoon has been so good. This dude doesn't have a single card. What about Emmanuel Forbes? The best Witherspoon card is a 78 overall. Emmanuel Forbes has an 84 rookie premiere. Trash. Jonathan Allen! Yes! I'm, sa I'm literally saved by Jonathan Allen. Jonathan Allen in my franchise was my third pick. I had round one pick one, which was insane. I took Mahomes. Round two, I took Roquan. Round three, I took Jonathan Allen, who obviously was insane for me uh, in franchise. We were like that close to having no good options. Saved by the bell. The absolute last player I looked at on my franchise roster has a 90 overall most feared. This came out in most feared wave two. I, I actually can't believe I forgot about it. So 90 overall, Jonathan Allen. 77 speed is actually really fast for a D tackle. 80 excels great. 89 strength is awesome. 92 block shed, 90 power moves makes me genuinely horny. Now I just need to hope that you get inside stuff and I can take this... Um, Matador off. Or what is that? El Toro? Oh my god, he doesn't get inside stuff. To get inside stuff, he needs 94 block shedding. Damn. Okay, so this is a bummer. This is not as good as I thought it was. I thought this was a nasty card. It's okay. I could do no outsider so he could get a quick run shed on like stretches and zone stretches. Jonathan Allen, welcome to the squad. I'm excited to have you. That D-line's looking really, really good. Bosa Allen and Bruce Smith. Our second wheel spin. Ooh, ooh a little, a little gambling degeneracy. Woo! 
What I get here is 10 rerolls, but I can only take one player. Now, you know what's awesome about this? I didn't even know this pack existed, but there's an 83 plus most fear. It's very expensive, but my wheel spin does not specify what reroll I have to do. So I'm not going to do the 78 plus. I'm not going to do unstoppables because the best one here is 83 plus. I'm opening 10 of these. I can take one player from it. So, hey, if we want to pull a 90, that'd be amazing. Let me just get on the first. We'll know. Raekwon Davis is our first. We'll know instantly if we pull the 90 because we're going to get that sick locker walkout whatever the hell animation you want to call it so every time we see this it's a max of an 87 we get raekwon davis and mike dana both of those are trash options so probably not gonna happen our third pack here still no big animation it's actually a pretty good option for us we have no corners right now so jonathan jones is jonathan jones is the best of a shitty shitty pull but i want to get dude public service announcement these packs suck Dick. Wait a minute. There are 1,720 training each, and I've gotten only 83s. If I were to quick sell this, it's, this is a fucking, this is a money shredder. Oh my God, this is trash. What? What are the odds on this? Mike Dana again. Dude, this is utter shit. What? I haven't even gotten an 87. No way you don't give me at least this an 87. Oh my, it's literally a shredder. Got a fucking punter. The ROI right now is like 0.25. Yeah, Yannick, uh, all right, this is, the ten, this is the 10th and final. There's no way those were this piss poor, right? 83 plus my ass. These are horrible. Dude, I just got scammed on those packs. So those were horrible. One option we could go with is 83 right tackle Evan Neal. Now, Evan Neal IRL, <laughs> he's kind of sucks. This Evan Neal, has 90 strength and he's six foot eight. This is actually a really, really good budget O lineman. So my one player could be that Evan Neal. He's a right tackle and Josh Allen rolls out right. So that's that's really not the worst idea. The only problem is I have no corners. But here's the thing about Jonathan Jones, man. Jonathan Jones is five foot ten. He's really not even that fast. Like he's not even that good of a budget corner. He's short. He's okay speed. I'm gonna go with Evan Neal. And on this third wheel spin, we just gotta get a corner. Wow, that was trash. I can't believe that. I thought 83 plus for sure would have an 87. I learned the hard way not to open those. That's all right, boys. We're not going to clutch up every single time. But hopefully this third wheel spin can. And it can... It can maybe. We're going to sort the entire auction house by 88 to 89 overall players. We can choose one player out of the top 12. So I click 88, 89, but then I need to sort by time remaining. Time remaining. Corner. Corner. Please. 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 Oh, there is. There's two. Oh, there's a lot of studs in here, dude. I want Paul Krause so bad. Dude, I want Paul Krause so bad, but I just can't. I have no corners. I know I can't do this. Fuck. I want him so bad. How is Jesse Bates as a corner? Jesse Bates' man coverage is 74, so he's also trash. Hey, luckily, we have corner options, though. Antonio Cromartie and Joey Porter, both limited, both really good corners. Let's compare these two side by side. So Antonio Cromartie, 6'2", 88 speed, 90 man, 80. Fuck, that's gonna be hard to beat. Wow, that is a good corner. 88 Cromartie's looking nasty. What about 88 Joey Porter, though? Joey Porter's also 6'2". He is one speed slower. Same man coverage, better zone coverage. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. I do think Antonio Cromartie is better, but I'd rather get a current player. I'd rather get Joey Porter Jr. Yeah, I'm going to go Joey Porter. Let's go Joey Porter Jr. Dude, some sick additions today. Evan Neal, Joey Porter Jr., Jonathan Allen. I'm going to take Isaiah Bolden out for Paul Krause. We're not rocking a 79 overall. I like that. Rashad Torrance, you're my CB3. Paul Krause is CB2. Joey Porter is CB1. Jesus, that's pitiful. Dude, I'm not going to lie though. My D-line is nasty. Linebackers are not great. Uh, Drew Sanders is in the middle. I low he could sub him in for one of these bums. I think this is a very winnable. This team can win. This team can win. And lastly, that brings us to the challenge wheel. We're 1 0 on this season. You can't really ask for a better start than that. Let's see what we can do here on this one. Ooh, this is a new challenge. And you know what? I got D line adjustments today. I think this is possible. I got to hold my opponent to 50 rushing yards or obviously less. 50 rushing yards is not a lot of rushing yards. Tyler Murray, DeAndre Hopkins, Isaiah Likely. It might be a 79 overall team versus like an 81 or something. Probably might be 79 versus 79. It's our first time at home too. First time in Bengals Stadium. Taking on the New York Giants. Derwin James coming down. Right. Kick return. Oh my God. That's why we use crush. Sure, I just got a hit stick fumble, but we didn't recover it. Start with Walker. Don't you dare throw this. Throw the dig. Throw the dig. Ah! Uh, no! You have Lurk Artist! Oh my god. I think I just wasn't close enough. That's all there is to it. I really thought I was. Get the bits! Make up for it! I'm really glad I didn't replace Desi Bates and Paul Cross. Wow, he's been so good. There goes Gronk. Pancakes the user. It's five yards, no matter how you cut it. Let's go, Gronk. 
Get out there, Gronk! Oh no. Third and 11. I'm going. Yo, she's so good! Yoshivis! By the way, I saw your guys' comments telling me how to pronounce Yoshivis. Um, I don't give a fuck. Unfortunately, we only have really like two guys to play through on offense. And that's Gronk and Jamar Chase. I made all those additions today, but I didn't add any weapons. We still got to really slowly march our way down the field. All right, we're going with the RPO. Set a block. Hey, Megatron. All right, cross drag. You guys saw a lot of this in the season opener, but it's a very solid play that isn't really dependent on your overall so much. Can we do one yard? Can we do a little more? PA cross country. Look at this play. Have you ever seen this play? Play action cross country. I'm going to go crazy. Come on, give me some time, boys. That's insane. Okay, can we just watch this back? I am I am blocking seven people to his four, and three of my players are standing there literally doing nothing. Luckily, I've got the boy, Jamar Chase, to eat up another 15 yards there, third and four. I think it's his own. Oh, no, that's man up. Who the fuck are you? A 68 overall silver. He's 6'3, 212. He's got an 81 overall team of the week. We have to get it. Punch it. Punch it, Freddy boy. Andrea Shishivishka. Since you guys want the correct pronunciation, I'm gonna go play action. I have no heat. I have no heat. Oh my god, I do. Derwin James gets home. Second and 22. Throws. Oh, third and three. Nice play. Get home. Somebody get home. Yikes. Hey, well, when you blitz everybody and you don't get home, you tend to leave stuff open. Likely? 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 It's likely he goes there. What a shitty pun and thing to say out loud. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry you didn't hear that. Big blitz here. Third and ten. Let's man these boys up. Yay! Get home! Fourth and 22. This game's over. Let's see it, Juan Wick. Who's going to get home? Who's going to get home? Paul Krauss. You guys want to see a Jamar Chase touchdown? I mean, do you really want to, though? Because I'll give you one. Oh, no. He made it up again. Shit. Second and 16. No need to be rash. Let's be smart here. Does he stay with Gronk? No, he doesn't have the balls. What? Dude, I switched on to Gronk to go up an aggro way and he ran. Dude, what is he, what is he doing? First and 10. He's going to come out and run. Please, no. I need to hold you to less than 50. Or is that play action? It is. Don't you dare throw this. That shit's getting picked off. Jonathan Allen. Second and 10. Juan Wick is getting torched right now. All right, let's go, Walker. Oh, slip screen? No, it's not. Ooh! Tavius <laughs> Bro, if you're getting sacked by Tavius Robinson, you need to hang up the cleats. Okay, all right. He speeds this one to Evan Ingram, takes a nice route, and baits. I tried to tee myself up to get like a hit stick fumble, but he's going to get the first down on that. I got to hold him to his rushing yards. Well, you know, it's easy to hold him to rushing yards when they don't get home. Ooh. Dude, if he's not going to run the ball, this can be the easiest challenge of my life. Low key, it's, it's harder to run against me, though, now. Like that D line. Dude, he keeps doing that, and I keep knowing, and I keep not getting to it. Play over the top so we don't get torched. Ooh, I like that. His first run play. He gets a yard rushing. Now he's got a pass. Same thing. I'm on D Swift. He won't throw to D Swift. <gasps> oh, right through it. Anthony Walker. I'm doing the same thing. 4 13. Go play action. Don't go play action, you bum. I'll eat your asshole. Anthony Walker. God, I feel like I'm playing career mode linebacker right now. All right, play action zone read. I think Jamar should clear on the right side. One, two, three. There you go. I don't know. If, are we going to call that clearing? Second and inches. Let's play the clock game. Let's eat all this up. I don't want to leave a shadow of a doubt on this game. Uh, actually, I kind of want to get Yoshivis a touchdown. Though. No, but he keeps getting manned up. That's annoying. Unable to take off with Josh Allen. I get a third and six here. Every game doesn't need to stress me the fuck out. Add years to my life. Gronk? Woo! Gronk making up for that mistake earlier, but I am not being very cognizant of my clock here. Oh, no. I'm going Yoshivis. Oh, my God! You're on fucking run! Who is this man? Who is he? He is double covered with four seconds left in the half. Oh, my God! He's a fucking animal! Fred Taylor, no, the user got me. It's 13-0. It doesn't matter. He's following Yoshi. Oh my god. He just usered Yoshi. I still think I can convert this. Yeah, I can. Gronk's a big boy. <gasps> that guy wasn't even looking and he just put his greasy little mitt on the ball somehow. Dude, Gronk's been selling today. I'm not gonna lie. No, 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 that's open. Fuck. 
No, it's not! Jesse! It's not even Jesse Bates, Thurman James. Wow, the recovery on that was nasty. I did not think he was going to get to that. Fourth and ten, dude. Where are you going? Five for 15, 101 yards and an interception. Fuck it. Let's go back to Yoshi. Shit. Guys, I, didn't, I just didn't think he had the balls to do it. Josh Allen, nice tackle. No. Paul Krause, no. That's actually exactly what I talked about. Oh, two-point conversion. You are not getting this. Don't even try and run this ball. Okay, I'm scoring a touchdown on this drive. I'm sorry, Yoshi. It's been a blast. I'm going to go score a touchdown now. There was a comment on last video that literally said, bro, Paul Krause at 55-man coverage. That man is going to get torched. And that is exactly what happened. I'm just going to go perish underneath with a big catch. Gronk clears on the left side. Takes a great angle. Juke. A little awkward, but we're moving. Yep, he's going to go down on Yoshi. Leaves Gronk. Beauty. Now he'll go up on Gronk and will throw down to Yoshi. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Let's go. Yoshi. Yoshi! Come on. Let's go get this touchdown, boys. I wish I could just hand it to Yoshi, but I don't think it's that easy. Now does he expect Gronk again? Doesn't matter. I'm taking it. Oh! Bengals are in at home. We had to give the home crowd something to root for. And we and we sat padded with Yoshi a little bit. You're going to go play action. And Walker's going to eat your ass. Maybe not. All right. No more man coverage for Mr. Paul Krause over there. Bull rush. Get off it. Oh, my goodness. I'm trash. He elects to throw that when he could have walked to the first one. Get through. Go, Jonathan. Go, Jonathan Allen. Shit. He did the same thing. Come here, Kyler. Get off him. Yes, I'm through. Oh, I'm through, baby. Hey! Come on, throw it, throw it, throw it. Ooh! Back-to-back -back huge plays. I love Bruce Smith, man. Who's open? Just behind it. I want, an, I want a lurk, man. You're a goofball. Oh, no. He actually got that. Isaiah likely was so open. And I do get a rage quit. Oh, don't mind if I do. Dude, this was so perfect. We get Dallas wheel, we keep all our players, and we get a rage quit. Let's go. Loki, I think EA tried to match us up based on overall and not on skill. And that was just his downfall because that boy was getting smoked. This is also a golden opportunity. This wheel spin, technically could get me Yoshi. There's a lot of things on there that are like possible for it. Please tell me he's 25,000 coins. Oh my God. 25,000 coins. Dude, there's no way. He's an 81 overall team of the week. The only concern is he's from a team of the week like a while ago. So he might not even exist on the auction house. Yes. Oh, he's not from too long ago. He's a week six team of the week. He had one catch for three yards and a touchdown. You got a team of the week for one catch and three yards. Okay, whatever. Uh, 86 speed. It's not about the card. It's not about the card. There's so many other positions I could upgrade right now it's about how fucking hard he went today hey if you guys want the legit pronunciation it's andrea yasivaskivu but we're not gonna call him that we're calling him a yoshi but the 81's going in so that's plus plus 12 speed plus 13 jumping plus 13 catching yeah that's quite the upgrade to say the least hold my opponent to less than 50 rushing yards he had one no he did have like five or six rushing yards with kyler so it's more like six total i'm gonna go with a pro most feared pack for my challenge wheel 183 plus a 79 plus and a 70 plus gold i've talked about it before but the most feared cards are good budget cards so we just need good positions that's actually it's actually pretty good for us right now chandon sullivan 78 81 all right i guess i'll take that chandon sullivan our first most feared player 83 quay walker this is like a perfect example of how good these budget cards are that's a 6 4 85 speed 87 excel middle linebacker that's huge what about the 79 oh my god that could not have been better holy shit are you any good this dude is nasty 86 speed, 84 XL, 6 foot, 79 overall. That was nice. That's all defense. Okay, let's get Paul Krause out of here for the newbies. So technically, Paul Krause should be my backup strong safety. This is actually not a bad spot for him either. So we can sub him in there for some nickel formations where he'll come in. Quay Walker, how do we rock this? I think I'm gonna put Quay Walker where Tavius Robinson is. We we just saw how much how many reps Tavius Robinson got. Might as well put Quay Walker in there. He's an 82 and 783. That shit doesn't matter. That's a huge linebacker upgrade. And then the only thing I gotta mess with my slot corner. Let's make a James Pierre. 81 overall at the end of episode two. Amazing episode, big dub. We needed that and we got it. Let's build some offensive line next episode, please. Maybe a running back. All right, y'all. I love you guys. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.